Hello, in this video we're going to derive moments of order statistics where our data come from a uniform 0, 1 random uh, variable or distribution. So let's let x be, you know, uniform 0, 1 and we're going to have a sample of size n. That means our density is, is 1 and the CDF, the cumulative distribution function, is x for this uniform 0, 1 random variable. We're going to let x I and J, and notice that there's parentheses in I and J. That's sort of the common notation mean that means we're in order statistics. So they're the ith and jth order statistic. That means it's the ith largest observation in our sample and the jth largest observation in our sample. Um, this is from a sample size n. We're going to let I be less than J. Now the joint density between these two order statistics uh, can be uh, derived to be this form. I have a video called Deriving the Joint PDF of Order Statistics that may uh, provide some insight in how this is derived. But now, th so this is generically the joint density, but we have to plug in the CDF and density for the case that we're in, which is the zero of the uniform zero one. So we plug in X here. This is one, so it goes away. Y, X goes away, one minus Y, and that's into the J. Um, so we plug it in, and now we have, you know, X is less than Y, which, and they're both between zero and one. Now, and what we do next, we're just gonna call this constant out here C, so I don't have to keep writing it again for each integral. So let's look at the product moment, the expected value of x, y uh, for the, uh, this case here. So that means you take x, y times this joint density and integrate it over all possible values. So the c is constant, so we take it out front. And then otherwise, we copy everything exactly. Uh, and then we take it times uh, x and y. Now what happens next is... Uh, it's a transformation or rearrangement just to make the integrals easier. So notice the 1 minus y raised to the nj comes down. Here, the x and the x to the i minus 1, those combine to get, that's how we get the x to the i. Now, this piece here, we factor out a y, and then we get this, right? So if we take this times y, we get y minus x, which we get this back. But that y that comes out is raised to this j minus i minus 1. Well, the the y to the minus i that comes out is this. So this y gets that piece. Uh, this y and that minus 1, you know, when the y comes out, they cancel. And the other y to the j is right there. Now this here, uh, we'll do a transformation, let u equal x, y, uh, so the derivative is du is equal to dx over y. We plug that back in. Notice this y when it come, you know, if we multiply it over here, so dx is equal to y du, so that's why we have an extra y here. Now this is a beta distribution without the constants in front. So when we integrate this, it becomes the reciprocal of those constants, which is this. And then we have this. And this is another beta distribution, right? So it's this. Now, i and j are integers, so then these beta functions can be represented in factorial form. So this is c. This is that beta. This is the beta. And then when we simplify that, we get this function here. So this is the product moment of uh, joint order statistics, or the ith and jth order statistics specifically. So now let's look at the density of the ith order statistic, just one order statistic, and it is this. Now let's find them, and we're not going to derive the joint density for the ith order statistic, but it's this. So then the mean is you take x times this and integrate it over all possible values. So this x, when it comes in, so we lose that minus 1 because we're taking the x times it. Well, then this here 
looks like a beta distribution from zero to one. And that's what this is. And pardon the running out of room here. So the constant out front, and then this is a beta distribution. So that is I plus one, N minus I plus one. And then since I is an integer, that can be written in factorial form. Of course, this piece comes down. And then those cancel to I over N plus one. Now the second moment, is you take x squared times this joint density and then integrate it over all possible values, 0 to 1. So when we take that x squared in, you know, that's why we get i plus 1, and then everything else comes down, the constant comes down, integrate. Well, this is a beta distribution, so that's this. And then this can be written in factorial form, which is this, and that simplifies to this. So that's the second moment. And now we can calculate the variance of the ith order statistic. So it's the second moment minus the mean squared. So we plug in what we know, and then this, of course, is squared. We get a, uh, yeah, we get a like denominators and simplify it, and it simplifies to this. So that's the variance of the ith order statistic. The covariance between the ith and jth order statistic is this. It's the product moment minus the product of the means. So we plug in what we calculated before. We get a like denominator. And then we simplify, and that's it. That's the covariance between the ith and jth order statistic. Well, that's all I have for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.